Welcome to the start of 2024 for Chelsea's women. The Blues are back from a brief winter break. And another year begins. Kicking off with the FA Cup, one of the Blues' most favoured of specialist subjects. Holders yet again. And the defence begins against West Ham United at Kings Meadow, where the Blues are so, so strong. I mean, Cuthbert here. Yes, Lawrence getting the go at right back with Perise on the left today. This is Canaroot, and that's a dangerous ball. Could go anywhere. Cuthbert trying to just bulldoze her way through. Sort of claret and blue in the way, and you feel that will have to be the way for West Ham. They've lost here in the league already this season. Just dwelling on it too long. You don't have that amount of time. Lauren James going for the glory. Just a little too high. West Ham nearly caught napping. Ingle. Perisse. Coming through Shimizu. How's the cross? Was well, decent. Tough header though for Erin Cuthbert. Has scored in her last two games against West Ham. Here off the bench in the league and at the back end of last term. Mackenzie Arnold going long and quickly. And she's got the better of Buchanan with that pass for Viviana Say here. That's awkward. That's in. Buchanan caught out. Musevic caught out. And West Ham in front. There's a long way to go, but the shock is on at King's Meadow. That is a poor goal to concede. Really well taken by Viviana Say, to be fair, but... Fingers pointed. And it will be Perisay who drills it long. Here comes Buchanan round the back. Carter as well, it was the former with the header. Great ball, great drive from all concerned, but still not a lot for Arnold to do, it's wide. Cuthbert making the counter possible. Looked like a foul on James. Advantage played. Promise here. Tight angle. Oh, it's off the top of the bar. I think Gura Wright might have been offside anyway, but it's a rare side of goal. In a relatively quiet first half of attacking from Chelsea here. Nice position. Perisate or Wright. And it's a rare save. For Mackenzie Arnold making sure. We expect far more drive in this second half from Chelsea, and it comes with that pass from Cuthbert. It was good, so was the cross. And it's uh, across everybody. Guru right in here. And to Kirby. And for Lawrence now. Good hit, Ash Lawrence. Cleared by Tiziak after it comes off the bar. And it's only a corner at the end of all of that. And that's as close as we've come. It's a good hit from the Canadian, who has scored once for the Blues. Zadorski and to Smith. One back high. Lauren James! Well, she keeps setting her sights, hasn't quite found it yet. Increasingly feeling like we're going to need something from it. Cuthbert. West Ham still holding firm in by Lauren James. That's Fischl. Tipped over by Mackenzie Arnold. Might have been a nudge in there, you know. Good corner. And it's the debutante Bjorn round the back, and it's still not happening for Chelsea. It is nearly two years since anyone kept out the Blues here at Kings Meadow. That was Arsenal. It's not desperate yet, but it's not far off, and that's a desperately close ball that Guru Wrighton has kept in. Erin Cuthbert will leave it. This is Ev Perisse. Nodded down by Canaroon. Good take, me official. Oh, brilliant finish! 
Well, you wouldn't exactly say it's been coming, but thank God it has come. Mia official off the bench. Only her second Chelsea goal after one on the opening day at the bridge against Spurs. And this is a big one. The holders are level, finally. Now to find the late winner. Canarud, Lauren James. Well, it's on target this time, but it's still not much of a test for Arnold. Lawrence. Lauren James takes it nicely and turns. Is this the moment? No, it's another one of those moments. Surely, eventually, one is going to be flying into the far corner. We're dwelling on it right at the death here. West Ham, what they're doing? Lauren James, surely now to win it. No! Last kick of the 94 minutes. Would have sent Chelsea through to round five. It's over the top from Lauren James. Well, surely the extra legs and quality will tell for Chelsea in the added 30 minutes here. You would think, or maybe not. This is Canarud with the cross. It's a good one. Cuthbert's header. And after 100 minutes, Chelsea finally lead the cup tight. It's taken that long, and it's taken the standing skipper, Erin Cuthbert, for the third game running, scores against West Ham. Lupoltz, that's nice. Beautifully timed pass and run from Beaver Jones. It must be in, it is over the line already when Sjokanuskin poked it in. Breathing room, finally, in extra time for Chelsea. Aggie Beaver-Jones, her sixth goal of the season, beautifully made by Mel Newpoltz, beautifully finished too. It's already over the line. Miracles required for the Hammers. Here's Emma Harris. That's awkward. And I say, he was nearly in there. Not that there would have been any time to do anything beyond it. Whisker away from 3-2. Back it goes from Cuthbert. And the final touch goes to a relieve Zichidamusevic. West Ham led for so long. The holders were not at their best or anywhere near it, but in the end of powered through, Cuthbert putting them in front, Peva Jones sealing it. It is 3-1 to Chelsea at a relieved Kings Meadow. Emma, Erin just described the match actually as a tough encounter. Yeah. How did you see it? It seemed to swing from one way to the next. I think it looked like we'd had a break from Christmas. I thought that was telling. Oh, we were so sloppy first half, such a poor goal conceded by us, you know, from back to front. But I thought second half, best you once we made the changes. I thought that was when we started to grab a foothold in the game. And create chances. Yeah, I think we looked a little rusty, to be honest with you. But in the end, I think oh, we trolled the game, saw it out. Good quality goals. How much did the game plan change with the goal coming early in the first half from West Ham? Well, you have to keep doing what you're doing, but you have to do it at a higher level. And I didn't feel we had enough stretching runs today that got in behind Lauren. Um, and sometimes that's structural, sometimes that's personnel, sometimes it's just that we didn't get up in time. Um, I didn't think we created enough quality opportunities in the first 60 minutes. But in the next 60, I think we're deserving winners. So in terms of that then, deserving winners, uh, Mia Fischel gets her first yeah. Women's FA Cup goal. How special is that for her? Yeah, massive. She needed that goal. She does. And I said it to her. She has to earn her stripes here. She's, she has to take her chances as a nine when she gets them and she came into the game, got her goal and I think that set us up nicely. The match finished 3-1 after extra time. What's the overriding emotion for you as you go away from the ground? Um, yeah, I'm happy for Nat to make her debut. I thought she was impressive when she came on. I think for all the players to get minutes, we needed a game. We haven't had a game since the 20th of December. I think it showed and I think 
how we finish the game will give us confidence. It was a tough game, but uh, you know we expect that for FA Cup. I thought you know we came out strong, um, but West Ham is a good side, and um, today's game showed both sides really wanted to win. So I'm proud of us for showing the resilience, coming back from a goal down, um, and we had a good performance on top of that, not just the result. So coming away with a lot of learnings, but a lot of positives um, moving forward. You mentioned about going down uh, a goal in the first half and you mentioned the word learnings there. So what did you learn and how quickly did the team need to adapt after going a goal down in the first half? Um, I think uh, it's kind of been, you know, the theme throughout the season. Um, uh, we have the ball, we need to, you know, be composed, we want to have possession um, and there are times when we're going to lose it. So just being able to deal with transitions um, and, you know, uh, opposition creating those threats so we've done a good job at that um, but you know every opposition that we're playing they have quality players so we have to be ready um, both uh, with the ball and defensively so yeah I think we just regrouped at halftime um, and you know we knew what we needed to do and we came out continuing like that and we knew that the goals were going to come but we still needed to stay focused and disciplined defensively and that's what we did it was a much better second half and into um, the uh, extra time. Speaking of the second half and goals, I know that three's goals were scored by Chelsea. Let's talk about one in particular, Mia Fischel getting her first women's FA Cup goal. What's it like for her, Gina? How special is it to see her name on the score sheet? Yeah, it's it's amazing. Um, I know for her, uh, it was an amazing goal too. It was a like a banger. So um, no, I'm really proud of her because you know she's a young player coming into Chelsea and um, she's so eager to learn and uh, just work hard every day. And so you know that. That goal was uh, an amazing, you know, individual talent, but that just speaks volumes of her as a player and, um, you know, ultimately as a team. We have a lot of different players that can step up, that can be goal-scoring threats. So, yeah, proud of her and proud of the team today. Can I just say I love the fact that you use the words banger and you've you obviously been around loads of English people using the word <laughs> banger. Anyway, last one from me. A tough encounter today. You've come through it. Another one next week against Manchester United and Real Madrid as well. But strength of character in this team has been demonstrated today. Would you say that's a fair assessment? Yeah, for sure. I think throughout this season we've shown that um, different players are you know, starting a game or coming into the game and changing it. So it just so the depth that we do have and that's really positive um, because you know, a season is very long. There's a lot of uh, trophies to play for. So, um, yeah, it's just really cool to see different players stepping up. But as a collective, everyone is, you know, buying into our goals and our objectives. And so, yeah, just an overall really good team performance. But, you know, we know now already, as you said, the next game is against United and we have a lot of big games coming up. So, yeah, now it's just about recovery. But again, proud of the team.